thrown a little bit of a curveball this morning. Yesterday we went out to eat, got some shabu, and I accidentally forgot to eat any carbs. I don't think I hydrated enough after the run and I had a major dehydration headache. Just getting really nauseous, felt like I was gonna throw up. So I got something to eat, tried to hydrate. I laid down and got some sleep or the best that I could. And I woke up in the evening at around 11 at night to finish some work that I had left over. I had to finish writing training plans for the athletes who I coach. So got that done pretty late at night. I'm now waking up after about an hour and a half of sleep. So we're rolling with it. Lesson learned. Everybody make sure you fuel up and hydrate really well after your long runs, especially when you have a heat wave moving through. Eat plenty of carbs. The carbs really help the muscles to absorb a lot of fluids. All right. Let's get ready for 11 miles easy. Oh my God, I'm so tired. That one. Hey, Mom, I'm 810, last day of the heat wave. And then we get back our normal cool temps. Hey, mile two, 751. Mile three, 723. Mile four, 7.48, mile five, 8.02. All right, five and a half miles down, and let's go back home. Mile six, 8.05, mile seven, 7.37. Cruising with Haven, all right, let's go. Mile eight, 8.31, going up Hicks Canyon, still with Haven, all right. Mile nine, 8.39, all right, almost at the end of Hicks Canyon now, and on our way home. All right, let's finish this up. Mile 10, 803. Mile 11, 805. 11 miles, easy, done. One hour, 28 minutes and 38 seconds. Eight minutes and three seconds per mile. Great way to shake out the legs. Get this week started right. Yesterday's vlog, TD Hung had a fantastic medium long run workout before heading out to Sydney for his marathon race. It was the last Sunday, one week before the race. And we talked about the importance of specificity in marathon training. I'll leave a link for you right over here. If you missed that video, you can check it out. I talked about how important it was to choose a course to train on that simulated as closely as possible the actual marathon race course. Bye, sweetie. It's hard to focus on specificity for the entire marathon build, especially at the beginning of a build where you're not fit enough to simulate a marathon race environment or conditions, and especially the fitness required for the marathon. We layer mesocycles on top of each other and we get more specific as we progress through the marathon build, getting closer to the race. So first we focus on endurance in the first mesocycle, then on top of that, we layer on lactate threshold. And later on in the build, we layer on VO2 max. And in the final measles cycle, in the last five weeks, we layer on race specific workouts. Workouts that simulate the most 
what it feels like to race the marathon, especially in the last eight to 10 miles. So until five weeks to go, all of our Sunday long runs are strictly endurance based where we go no higher than aerobic threshold. But in the last five weeks, we get dialed in and we build workouts into the long run so that we can simulate what it feels like to race super, super hard in the last eight to 10 miles of the marathon race. That last eight to 10 miles when the heart rate creeps up past the aerobic threshold into LT1 and later into LT2 and finally tops out at VO2 max as we make a mad dash to the finish line. So doing a progression of long cruise intervals built into a Sunday long run is a fantastic way to simulate this race situation. How did it feel doing that workout with Mr. TD yesterday, Cole? Felt great. It was pretty cool. At least we know that you're fit enough to run a three-hour marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Cole has until December to continue getting fitter, and I have no doubt that Cole will be fit enough to run well under two hours and 50 minutes at CIM. I'm so glad that I'm well hydrated. I don't have a headache or nausea. It feels so good not to want to vomit. I learned my lesson. I'm gonna be really well hydrated after every single run, load up on carbs at all times, and make sure I don't have dehydration sickness anymore in the future. Hey, do me a favor. Go ahead and like this video. Help get it out to as many people as possible. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps out our channel a ton. We have the best Patreon team in the whole wide world. Thanks so much for all you do for us. We really can't do it without you. And I really can't do any of this without my best bud, Cole. You can check out his work on Instagram right over here, as well as our Strava handles. Looking for a spring destination marathon? Then look no further. Check out the Big Island Marathon in Hilo, Hawaii. Use code ALLHARD for 20% off at registration. Races are fast approaching. Cole and Evan are racing at the Long Beach Half Marathon. Hayden's running in the Long Beach Full Marathon, and so are a few of the athletes who I'm coaching. I also have some athletes racing in the Chicago Marathon, the New York Marathon, and a bunch of us are racing at CIM in December. Whatever race you're prepping for, don't forget to focus on specificity. Be specific with your training. Focus on the aspects that are most similar to your racing conditions, and you'll be able to crush your marathon goals. That's going to do it for me today. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye now. Wilbur? Hey, did you, did you miss me? to the circle you're come it takes all your willpower not to lick my face huh <laughs> <laughs>